Well, uh, 2 p.m. is a very late start for the day, uh, but that's what it is. It's 14 hours and 12 minutes into Wednesday, uh, November 25th. Check the day. Yeah, it's the 25th. I was right. Uh, so, Wednesday, November 25th, it's... Uh, 14 hours and 12 minutes into the day. Uh, my mind is all over the place because I've been doing a lot of different things. Uh, sort of thinking about different things. So, uh, I think we're going to have to sort of make up for time a little, a little later on. But, uh, that's because we're going to have to uh, do a cleaning video where we clean out an area and put up the new uh, dryer. The new dryer came in. It has to be assembled. You'll see how the dry what the dryer is and how it goes together. Uh, and then I have to put together, because uh, I'm going to start doing a uh, Twitter broadcast on uh, basically like news. So I'm going to put that out and sort of uh, get into the game, so to speak. Uh, but it's, you know, it, when you're thinking about things and doing a lot of things all at once, and note that I uh, back here I've got a monitor up there. That's because I've got the lap the laptop working for uh, the uh, keyboard that's here. With this keyboard here, I've got the uh, uh, laptop. I just have to do the conf some configuration on it, and I'll probably do the uh, sound test tomorrow for the laptop, for the uh, piano, uh, the keyboard, uh, as long as everything goes okay. But uh, that still remains to be seen. You know, things always do pop up. There are always issues. So we'll kind of have to sort of see how things end up going. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now because it's supposed to be my day off today. I'm supposed to be taking Wednesday off. But uh, uh, it looks like I'm not going to get that much time off. <laughs> Anyways, uh, see you when I get back. Uh, I got to do some work in the other realm, in the, in, in the dream world. And the... Uh, uh, then I'll come back and have a discussion later on. Well, it's just about 11 o'clock in the evening, and this is our uh, middle segment uh, for today's vlog. I've been trying to take more of the day off, and th th that's one of the problems. I do have a problem taking time off, uh, but today I just sort of cut everything short. I got a fair amount of work done. There were, there's work I could do even in vacation mode. That doesn't take too much work. I did some more configuration on the device here. I uh, have TikTok on there. I spent close to two hours on TikTok just uh, flipping around and sort of seeing what's on there. It's interesting because there's a lot more people on TikTok than I, than I expected them to be. But they think... Uh, I am Pan-Asian, so it, ironically, it classifies me as Pan-Asian, so that's where uh, uh, most of my, uh, 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 the picks for you, I think, whatever it's called, are, they're uh, typically Asian, so I'm happy with that, but at the same time, uh, <laughs> I am still fairly fatigued. I'm going to cut my uh, gaming down to the essentials. Just, just go do a shield change. Uh, uh, make sure my defenses are up properly. Uh, so that will take me like not even five minutes to then, then go right back to bed. I just spent, oh, maybe uh, an hour on the YouTube stroll and... I got up to Family Five Logs. I went to check Clintus, but he didn't have anything up. But at Family Five Logs, I had a hard time keeping my eyes open. I'm still having a hard time keeping my eyes open now. So that means it's uh, back to the other office, back to the other research desk uh, in the Dream World, <laughs> and see what else. We'll see what else uh, pops up. There.
It's taken me more than an hour to get here. Vlogging can be a struggle depending on how you uh, do the vlogging. It's still the conversation and we're at the ending segment of our vlog for uh, the 25th and it's actually the 26th right now. Uh, it's Thursday, it's 7 hours and 37 minutes into Thursday, November 26, uh, 2020. I hope I have that correct. I do believe that is the case because I remember looking up yesterday when it was 20, the 25th. It means I've forgotten to do some of my uh, uh, recording uh, recording in the log, but that happens. When there's too much on your plate and things start falling off, and that's typical, but hey, what are you going to do about it? Uh, I've been watching a lot more TikTok lately. And what, I, what surprises me is the... The level of misinformation out there. And what it happens is, is these people on the internet who believe they have a fan, who have a fan base, who believe they have the authority to come out and say something. But even as, 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 even as a scientist, as a researcher, I don't have any form of authority to say anything because you're never actually sure of what you're doing. Uh, there, there hasn't been a final solution to science. Science is not, uh, become absolute, although a lot of people treat it as an absolute truth. Uh, it's not. The, the, it, you know, people, they'll come up with these things, well, let me give you these adding and subtracting uh, qu questions that will determine what grade level you're at. Well, well, what about calculus? Uh, well, you can prove things with calculus. Well, actually, if you think you can prove things with calculus, guess what? You're wrong. The entire fundamentals of calculus is based on something known as an asymptote. An asymptotic function, and this is what basically calculus is founded on, is a function that cannot be reached. It's infinite, and it's infinite in its point. The point you're trying to get to in terms of that function is infinite. So you get it doesn't matter how close you get, you're still infinitely far away. Uh, this is the entire fundamentals of calculus. It's not based on accuracy. It's based on approximation. It's, it's the mathematics of approximation. And the thing is, is that if you don't understand this, then you can say, oh, yeah, I can prove things with calculus. Well, no, you can't. Why? Because the very fundamentals of the mathematics is approximation. You can't prove things by approximation. You can only approximate it. You can only get close to the answer, not actually the answer itself. So people are, why can't science give, give us the answer? Well, because it's an approximation. It's a model. It's it's an understanding. It's the, not the understanding. It's an understanding. So when people come up with these proclamations, these are people who fundamentally don't understand science. Oh, they'll, have, they'll tell you, oh, I've got a particular degree in this, and I've got this, and I've, I've done this much studying, and But that still doesn't answer the question, how do you know? Where's your proof? If your proof cannot achieve a proof because it is an approximation, it is an, a, an estimate, a, a, uh, an approach to the truth, but not the truth itself, then you have no proof at all. You simply have an indication of, well, I might, I might know something. And as the assertion of truth, and this is where most people are, and you know, you go out and you see somebody, they talk about, oh, I saw this uh, 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 this protest just yesterday. Uh, they were walking by, holding signs, and, and, and you know, they're Trump, or, Trump, Trump and anti maskers blanket statement. They didn't meet anybody. They didn't talk to anybody. They're going off first impressions. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm a gay woman, and I'm afraid. Why? Were they burning buildings down? Were they overturning cars and, and setting cars on fire? Were they beating people up like you saw on Antifa and, and Black Lives Matter? The video that I saw on TikTok of the so-called white supremacist anti-Trump su Trump supporters were simply walking down the street, uh, you know, banging pots and pans and uh, that's it.
And yet, without any, without talking to anybody, without having any form of discussion, immediate trigger. And this, the, the liberals, from what I've seen, have no minds. And I've met liberals. I have friends who are liberals. And the thing is, I'm not a liberal. I'm an independent. I'm a nonconformist. I think for myself. I'm actually, uh, I, I understand where these people who are anarchists are coming from. But the problem is, the a large chunk of the anarchists don't understand that they were, they were tricked into doing the work for the establishment. They, they were doing the dirty work for the establishment. They weren't actually, actually supporting anarchy. They were supporting the establishment. The establishment needed, at that time, needed the anarchy to create a condition, to create a fear that you don't want to vote for Trump. And they did that. Who were the people who did this? Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all the Wall Street characters, you know, the big bankers and stuff like that. They're the ones who were, who were pushing all of this. But most people don't understand it because they don't look beyond what they're told. Uh, someone stands up with a bullhorn and, here we go. Someone gives you a, a line to be triggered by, you know, a, a, a meme. That's it. That's as far as it goes. Nobody sits down and actually does the research. But because most people aren't nerds. Most people don't seem to look beyond anything that's being t said, being told to them uh, in some form of media. Question, you know, what's wrong with questioning what you hear? And not necessarily being mean about it. Ask a question, well, how did you come to this information? How did you come to this particular point of view? Why are you telling me this, you know? You're telling me something, you got to be have a reason for why you're telling me. Of course, it could be just a general conversation that you're having, but... If it sounds urgent, well, if you tell me something urgent, what's going on? Do you need help? Or, or, you know. But there's none of that. There's, there's, there's basically... Well, that's great. Sheeple. People who follow in herds. And when something really goes wrong and you're locked down and you can't get out and get any, you, now you can't even get some places you can't even get food. And people are being fined and arrested for getting leaving their house. Well, that's a lockdown. That's that's prison. That's martial law. And then they come. Oh, this is horrible. Yeah, of course, horrible, but that's what you voted for. What we're seeing now. People were saying before the election, before uh, this last election. Uh, oh, this when Biden gets elected, this is all politics and stuff like that. Uh, when Biden when Biden wins, uh, it's all going to be. Oh, you'll see, it's going to go back to normal. Really, it's getting worse. We're got a second wave. A second wave of what? There's a second wave. Cases are rising. What cases are rising? How do you know this? Where is your proof? Where is where is where is your research? No research is being put out. In fact, the older research that I saw from to, uh, from October. Uh, a large chunk of scientists were saying this whole COVID thing was false. Not, not average people, scientists, virologists, doctors, saying the whole COVID thing was false. It was no worse than the common flu. Matter of fact, the data, data the numbers from the CDC, which shows the death toll, uh, and it's basically it's, it, these these reports, these death reports are six months out because it takes six months to do a full autopsy and do the full death report. So it's take, it, from the first time a person dies to to when the final report is released, uh, that's about six months. So you do have to wait, and they're showing the numbers are basically temp, the death numbers to COVID are ten percent of that of the flu. But even the flu and COVID, they don't they're not they're not directly responsible for the death. They're what we'll call a cofactor. You'll hear you'll hear a lot about this if you talk to an actual researcher. You'll talk you'll hear about something called comorbidity. Comorbid is when someone dies and they have more than one cause of death, one more, more than one factor of death, not cause, but factor of death, they'll list these things called comorbidities. So, if you die of a gunshot wound, right, you're a person who, uh, for some reason, ends up in a shooting and you get shot, you end up dying, and in the uh, autopsy they find that you have COVID. Well, this, that's a COVID death. Why? Because 
even though you were killed by a shotgun blast or you were shot to death, because you have COVID in the system, that's listed as a comorbidity factor. Why would they put this in? Well, simple. The more COVID deaths there are, and then this is what's, what's been happening, is the more COVID deaths there are, the more uh, COVID research you're doing, well, guess what? Your paycheck is going up. That there's more money available for COVID. So all these people now are jumping on the COVID ban. Why? Because they're making money. Hey, I just bought a new boat. I need to pay for it. Oh, look, I'm researching COVID. Oh, our COVID numbers are... Pay us. This is COVID. Hope you're happy with what you voted for. This is it. It's not going to end. Well, unless, of course, you're Asian and it's not going to have any effect on you at all. Um, I'm pan-Asian, so it doesn't have any effect on me. I'm, I have no problem with it. I'm a weeb. I'm a nerd. I'm by myself all the time. And so, ain't no issue for me. My vehicle is electric. Uh, I, use a, I have an electric scooter, so no issues for me. Uh, I hope well, you're happy being locked down, not being able to go out. If you're depressed at some point, then, well, and you're a liberal, guess what? Who's to blame? Look in the mirror. You are. You're the one who voted for this. Anyways. See you in a couple... See you in about an hour for the opening uh, segment of the uh, uh, vlog for the 26th.